Mohamed Lila is CNN's correspondent in Istanbul. Now, clearly, Turkey and the Assad regime have had a relationship of mistrust and varying degrees of enmity, although less, somewhat less of late. But Turkey has relationships of varying complexity with almost everyone, Russia and the US too, obviously. So what's been the reaction in Turkey to the US strike? Well, it's still very early in Turkey here in Istanbul. People are going to be waking up to this news, but I think it's fairly easy to predict that Turkey will be very pleased with uh, these latest uh, U.S. strikes on this military base in Syria. You have to remember that for years now, Turkey has been calling on the United States to set up some sort of no-fly zone to help in the overthrow of Bashar al-Assad. Under the previous U.S. administration, that was something that they refused to do. President Obama refused to get involved in any sort of meaningful way in Syria. Uh, and that was much to the consternation of uh, the Turkish leadership, uh, as well as many of the other Gulf countries uh, who really wanted America to be doing more. So I think we're going to wake up to a region that's going to be, uh, first of all, surprised at the airstrikes, but surprised in a very pleasant way and happy that the United States is finally doing something. Now, in the same breath, just as you have countries in the region that will be happy about this, you also have the various militant groups on the ground that will be celebrating this as well. For example, there's a group called Ahrar Asham, which is one of the major military, one of the major militant fighting groups on the ground right now in Syria. They are a Salafi group, uh, largely believed to be backed by Saudi Arabia. They have a very hardline interpretation of Islam. Um, they're the ones that would, for example, you know, stone people to death or cut off their hands if they're caught stealing in Syria. Well, they're also celebrating what's going on. And you have to imagine that ISIS and al-Qaeda in Syria will also be celebrating what's going on. As a colleague of mine at CNN uh, pointed out in his analysis, he, and, and I think it's quite correct, he said America now runs the risk of acting as ISIS's air force in Syria. Uh, and that's how I think some people will interpret this, certainly Syria Iran and Russia might interpret it that way. Yes, they are very, very strange bedfellows, aren't they? Donald Trump and those parties. And this is such an about face on Trump's previous position. Is there a sense there of why this is happening? Is it too cynical of me to suggest that there may be reasons other than Trump and the Pentagon and the people that Trump is talking to being genuinely outraged by this chemical weapons attack? Well, look, you know, in speaking with diplomats with the U.S. State Department in the region, the one message that I was getting consistently since Trump was inaugurated was that nobody knew what to expect. And the word that people often used uh, sort of in, in, in closed meetings is that, uh, that you would use the word unpredictable, that nobody had a clue sort of what uh, Donald Trump's foreign policy was going to be. Nobody knew how quickly he would change his mind from one subject to the other. We've seen indications within the U.S. administration with, for example, shuffles amongst his cabinet members. Uh, Steve Bannon, who was once his right-hand man, is now no longer on the National mm. Security Council, and that happened very quickly. So we know that Donald Trump can change his mind very quickly. All the indications are, as far as this, uh, you know, this airstrike overnight, is that Donald Trump made that decision after seeing the images of so many young children who were essentially asphyxiated or subject to this terrible, terrible nerve agent that caused them to die in agonizing pain. Uh, and, and it comes simply down to that. that the decision was made by Donald Trump, who, who, according to the sources at the White House, was deeply moved and deeply affected after seeing those images. Mohamed Lila, who is CNN's correspondent in Istanbul. In breaking news, it's been reported that at least four Syrian soldiers were killed at the airbase, targeted in those US strikes. That from the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Four deaths, we are told, at this stage.